hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new in this place please consider to subscribe please consider to subscribe to hit that subscription button and make sure that you turn on a bell notification so that you don't miss a new uh, you don't miss to receive a notification whenever i upload a new video so in this tutorial i'll be showing you how we are going to insert a new background that we erased in the previous uh, tutorial in the previous tutorial i showed you how to change or how to remove uh, the background without losing the quality of your photo and now in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can you get that uh, background changed how to get that how to uh, to put a new background that you want uh, to that photo so uh, let's get started so first of all you're going to uh, open uh, an app called uh, pix art this app you can get it on a play store so let's open this art and so you come here at the plus button here so like that now you go to photos in this case I'm going to uh, select all so all I'm going to choose the background the photo that uh, I have already uh, the background photos that I've already downloaded so I'm going to come into the downloads so I'm gonna choose the background that I want the background that I want so in this case I'll be using this this background so we are going to use this background as our background so first of all I'm going to you to come here at the tools here at the tools then select crop then come and choose the portrait like that so I'm going to adjust now like that and say okay so um, what I'm going to do I'm going to scroll and to here add photo then I'm going to add my photo see the photo and I'm add so if I add like that that is how it is so remember it is still in the same quality as the original photo so now as you can see our photo it looks somewhat bright than the uh, the background so what am I going to and this is the mistake that many people does whenever they are changing the background you see that the background is not matching with the photo why because they don't balance the colors they don't adjust the colors now as we are going to adjust the colors so i'm going to select uh, adjust here now what i'm going to do i'm going to reduce some amount of brightness uh -huh, to make it somehow dull like that another thing i'm going to do i'm going to reduce temperature like that so you can see it is trying to to match my background so another thing that I'm gonna do let's try to adjust contrast so as you see and let's also try to adjust some saturation uh-huh you're gonna reduce it slightly small that is to negative six so another thing that you can do so now we click OK. Another thing we can do so that our photo to look like it's real, we are going to use the eraser tool to erase the edges, those edges, so that it uh, it does not look like it is just something that has been placed there. So we want to blend the edge of our photo with the background. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, come here at the top here. This is the tool I'm talking about. So if we press that tool it will bring you to another page like this so we're going to use erase now erase we are going to adjust if you click at the erase again here you see it will there is a new page that is coming and this is where to adjust the brush size to adjust the hardiness and to adjust the opacity so now let's let's zoom and try to to erase edges there is also another restore tool
So uh, another thing we are going to do is we are going to, re- to use the restore tool. Uh, if we accidentally uh, erase a place that we don't want, we restore. We use the restore tool to restore. So now, if I zoom out, you notice that now the photo, our photo, uh, it's looking somehow uh, real. So another thing that I'm going to do, um, I'm going to add, I'm going to add another photo that it has uh, it has shadow. So again, I'm going to the downloads. So like this. Now let me rotate and zoom. Like that. So I can slightly reduce the opacity. So like that. Now you see the photo how it looks. It's look. It looks somehow real. So we're gonna do what? So what we are going to do? We are going to click there, and then now come select at the draw like this. Now come here and three dots here up and save save image. So then our image is now saved in the gallery. So what we are going to, to do next is to uh, color grade. So we are going to open uh, Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom. So now after we have opened the Lightroom, we we'll go and upload the video, the, the photo. it is so now after you have opened the, the light room so we come here at the light and we can get our contrast our exposure reduced to negative four let's reduce slightly to negative 0 0.36 highlights we are going to also to reduce to negative 13 shadow we're gonna increase to positive 25 and whites increased to 25 also uh -huh. blacks we are going to reduce to negative 20 now we're going to temperature color temperature so here is a saturation in the old vibrance tint temperature so we're going to to the mix i want you to understand we are going to press here the mix so we select the we are going to select color the colors that we want to adjust like this case i'm going to start with the green so i want you to check collectively you see what happens with our colors so you see when i reduce this uh, luminance to 180 you see how it, it looks when i reduce saturation you see when I reduce, it's also hue, you see how it looks, but that one doesn't look good for us, so we are going to increase hue, then increase also saturation, uh, like this. So we are going to reduce the hue to negative 47. Increase the, the the saturation, the screen, the green saturation to close to 50. Luminance we are going also to increase to 50. Both saturation and luminance we are going to, to increase them to 50. Look before and now. You can see the difference. So uh, what else we are going also to adjust this one? in the first one and the final one so you can come also to red color you can reduce you see what happens when i change the hue but in this case red color we are going to leave the way it is in you 
So let's try to adjust this saturation. We see it's oversaturated. Mm -hmm. So this one also we are going to leave the way it is. So the rest of the colors we are going to leave the way they are. Let's try this blue. So uh, in this blue, I'm gonna use, use saturation. I'm gonna increase a bit of saturation and also a bit uh, luminance. Uh, positive 22. Also, also I'm going to. Let's do 22. So the, let's see the original. Is the final. So we click done. So uh, let's come here and the effects and select vinyl. Vinyl, we are going to reduce to negative seven. We have the haze. The haze we are going to increase to positive fourteen. Let's see the original. Now clarity. Let's play around with clarity. Let's reduce. See what happens when I increase clarity. You find that I'm looking that every spot on my face is highlighted. So I'm going to reduce clarity at least to finish some spots. Now you see my face is somehow smooth. My face now it's somehow smooth, smooth. So let's see the original. This is the original and after. This is the original and after. Now we are done. Let's see the original and after. This is the original, before and after. Before color grading, after color grading. So we going to save export to our device. So thank you guys, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like my video and make sure that you turn on the bell notification for you to receive notification whenever I'm going to upload a new video. Thank you so much, thank you so much and keep sharing my content.